The author of Passage A would be most likely to characterize the purpose of the Indian Non-Intercourse Act as which one find? Ooh, didn't the pos didn't the author say what the purpose was? I, I seem to remember that. Yeah, its purpose is clear that. on 41. It says the so. Do you see that on line 41? Its purpose is clear. Yeah, yeah I think I was maybe bringing it outside to like, oh, it's like it was to rectify past. Injustice. Yeah, now it does say it was meant to guarantee security to Native Americans against fraudulent acquisition uh, okay. by others. So okay. they said, hey, you can't transfer stuff unless you talk to us, right, the government. And it sounds like the purpose of that was to prevent people from swindling them out of their property. So it would be prevention of violations of the principles of justice and transfer? Yeah. Wait, so what were you tempted by? You were tempted so by... I think I said E. E. Implementation of a principle... Oh, no, no, this is preventing fraud, preventing fraud. not rectifying so it. It's the prevention of violations in the first principle, which is just, just transfer. Yeah, in other words, people might transfer it unjustly, therefore we need to prevent that. Uh, okay. Yeah, no, wait, which one were you talking about? Yeah, I had an issue with it because I thought B kind of checked all the boxes and... Clarification of existing laws regarding transfer. Oh, no. It, it, it's doing more than just clarifying, right? The law is you got to transfer it justly, mm -hmm. right? You can't cheat people out of their property. And what this is doing, it's adding something saying, hey, if you want to transfer property from Native Americans, you've got to talk to the government first. But well, what about the, the fact that this is, you know, the author of Passage A is described as is, 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 uh, reviewing this? So it's not what passage B is trying to say. Sure, sure, passage sure. A would no, that's a very good point. The author of passage A would be most likely to characterize the purpose. Well, I think the. Isn't he, sorry, just my train of thought is that he's coming out, the passage A is coming out. Sure. Coming, perfect world, two options. Yep. You know, imperfect world, third option. Yep. He's not really talking about prevention or whatever. He's talking about, you know. Well, he does talk about those three things, right? right? The author does. The author of Passage A talks about those three things. You got uh, just to justly, you know, transfer it, justly acquire it, and then rectify problems. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so would but given the purpose of the act, would the author of Passage A be like, oh, this is rectification? I, why wouldn't he just say this is clarification of? A and B, or my A and B principles. Clarification of existing laws regarding no, because it's doing more. Right? The, the law is doing more. It's saying, hey, talk to the government before you transfer property. That seems to be, let's, let's uh, help enforce the, the second principle or the transfer one. I, I just, I what, so, so, so clarification? Why do you think it's clarification? Okay, go ahead. Why do you think it's clarification? Well, because um, I guess I'm coming into this and I can see the flaw in my reasoning, which is... I'm thinking that there is a law that exists already about how property rights work. Sure, so, I, no, I think that's not an unreasonable assumption. Let's say that there right, is that but law. Like, I hold that assumption, so I'm thinking that this uh, Preservation Act is just a, um, it's a, it's a, on top of that law, a clarifying factor in that body of laws of property rights, in effect. So, so you're so, saying that it so does but, clarify. Yeah, I'm saying that the well, so, Preservation Act clarifies. It, do you think that's what its purpose was? Not intercourse. Does that? Sorry. Do you think that's what its purpose was to clarify? For people who are going to do transactions, it clarifies what's legal and what's illegal. Hmm. So if I'm going to buy a preservation, I need to now go to the government. And so you think the, the government passed this law to clarify what the law is? No. Okay, I see your point. Because they are doing it to specifically preserve this. One group that's I think they're trying to protect this group. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I think it's it's I think it does have the effect of clarifying it because if you go to the government and say, Hey, can we do this? They'd end up clarifying, no, you can't, you know. Mm -hmm. But I I feel like it's going further than that. Yeah, I I mean I just in my I, I guess mentally I just go like it's clarifying it previously I assume it's clarifying previously previously existing law. Sure. Property rights and and like you, I, I guess I'm bringing too much background knowledge with like you. You assume that preservations would have, I, yeah. I, I just, my, what I'm worried about is that I make that jump and I, I don't know. How to I guess I'm, I'm curious why you didn't think it was D. 
I did. I wrote down B or D. Oh, um, B or D, yeah. So I, I was between those two choices. But I also thought preservation was too strong, and I, I see now why. Like, see, that's interesting because I feel like I feel I feel like clarification is too weak. Like, uh, I guess I read guarantee security as as like a a clarifying factor rather yeah. than a pre like than an aggressive preserving. So in effect, saying like. This was clarified to protect these people versus this was written to protect to preserve these people. Or, well, it it was meant sense? to guarantee security to Native Americans against fraudulent acquisition by others. That sounds like protection. Guarantee security. I guarantee your security when you go to Iraq against fraudulent shootings. Is that cl is that clarifying? Oh, just clarifying that he shouldn't be shot. I'm guessing. Well, no. <laughs> I mean, I, That's all we're trying to do. We're trying to clarify that shooting is not allowed. Guarantee security. That sounds like a protective, proactive measure to help protect. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I see it, and I yeah. understand why it makes sense. It was my other choice. I'm a little bit more. Is is the. Um, is the is the rubric essentially like you know which is the stronger in this instance what was how do you <laughs> here's the rubric I think the rubric is what was the intention of this this uh, law and uh, given the fact that it's trying to guarantee security against fraudulent acquisition it seems to be doing more than just coming in and clarifying. Like, well, fraudulent sounds to me like the people know what they're doing is wrong. Right. And we're trying to protect them against that. But the, um, the, the passage A author never really gets into preserving or protecting people. You know, uh, he's, like, got a uh, fixed True. The, the pa passage A just says, hey, there's people got to, you know, acquire it justly, they got to uh, transfer it justly, and oh, by the way, the world's not perfect, so there's sometimes rectification. But, I mean, if person A were to look at the passage of this law, and if I were to look at the passage of the law, even in light of what A has said, I, th I think it, it'd be pretty reasonable for A to look at this and say, oh, passage A, author, to say, oh, it seems like the purpose of the act was to protect Indians. Well, that was horrible. It says Indian Non-Intercourse Act, but I need to say Native Americans. <laughs> okay? But anyways, yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I, I get it. I think, yeah. I think I understand it. I'm just, I was just struggling a little bit with the fact that, like, isn't the question phrased in such a way where it's like A has no idea the arguments being made by B, so he just knows about the act. And True, but... The act would be a clarification of Existing law, right? That's just that's just where my head's at, and I'm, I'm yeah, yeah, I I'm <laughs> overthinking it. Yeah. See, that's the thing, though. I don't think it's existing law necessarily. That's like a, the act itself is establishing a law, yeah. right? So there's nothing. It's establishing something mind. new for sure. Yeah, I, exactly. I think that the, I think it's fair to say that how you transfer property was given. was probably that's like. Foundational. Yeah, like, oh, uh, you can't yeah. just take it from people or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but. I guess. But it's so specific. I, think it, I feel like it's definitely doing more than just clarifying. I feel like clarifying would be like, oh, by the way, when you transfer property, you have to do this. Mm -hmm. But they're asking them to come and get approval. So. I don't know. Anyways. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, of course. No, no, um, that makes sense. Not to drag you further yeah. into the abyss of this. Of this question? No. Of oh, this. different one. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I, I think 